Hi friends, welcome to my series and now we are making uh, some cards from Sam and Seth October card kit uh, which came the with long form bladded paper and uh, some of the stamps uh, that is ready for use stamp sets. So now you can see I went ahead and make some preparations. This is the stamp. So for that I used the squirrel and I stamped it with the archival orange tangy ink which is key mini quit. I took my card base and this is not communicate. I just cut out the Mm, this paper by the big sheet of paper in a half and then just fold it in a half by the way the sheet is 8 and 11 and a half so now I want to uh, use um, these plaited paper for that and uh, I want a little bit this should stand a little bit so now I'm giving a matting to it before that I cut out this paper by using salmon stitch, stitch rectangle dies and I'll just put it and I'm eyeballing it and now I'll cut all um, only the two sides and don't have to cut all the three sides here so I'll cut <coughs> I will cut these in little bit of border on all the same sides now it's ready to add on our, our main panel here or before that uh, then again I when I stamp it I use the salmon's uh, stitch that I this, this part and I use the second smallest one to cut out this now I want to stamp the sentiments here nutty over you so basically I want to use um, feel this sentiment with a background so I don't want uh, that this, this sentiment should look more prominent to it so I'm planning to use my misty for this trick and by misty it will become really easy to do that so here now uh, wherever you want to stamp if I want to stamp starts from here and I want to go up so it's like first of all I want to stamp here, here, here and here. So I don't want to uh, shift my stamp here. But I want to shift this image. So what I did I will start with the uppermost part here and something like this. And I will place this. And now you can see that it is not covering the whole thing here so i will switch with this sentiment and i will stamp here thank you for everything and although i want to use that sentiment on this i'll use that after a while now for this uh, this is kind of a background to it so i don't want to add more dark colors to it so um, although you can use a ghost stamp it, but i want to add a little bit of light color and and same time I want to match the color with the background also so I'm choosing here for a separate side the old paper by distress inks this this is not came in a kit and I'll just stamp before I stamping on my main panel I just took a one rough paper I put that here and see that how it looks because sometimes you stamp have a little bit stain because it will not um, give and you can see it is a little bit pretty, uh, pretty subtle to it uh, and if you are not happy with that you can do ghost stamping and how we can do ghost stamping is first of all you stamp on a paper and then again stamp on your project so in this way you get you will get a really faded look uh, but I'm not happy with this color I think I will choose another color because it is kind of uh, more prominent for me so now I'm seeing that how all this will look the worth good you can go with dark colors also there is no nothing right and wrong in this process and again I'm not happy with this maybe I'll use some shades of yellow but I have all the yellows which are more prominent so finally I decided that I'll go with this tumble glass because it also gives the sky background to this and I'll just stamp that and see how it looks and yeah it's okay and it will also match the color of pattern paper so now I'll just put this on the and now you can see that um, the grid lines are quite a bit matching and this stamp is like uh, this is the quarter and this is like a half so there are uh, many uh, lines on your grid mat you just want to see that line so it is like one big line and another big line so I want to then just move this a little bit upward so I'll match the next line of the top of my card and then I'll stamp it again and in this way I'll go on with the process you come a little bit closer to the squirrel 
you don't want to overlap the image with this so I'm using here one mask and I cut out this mask from post it and it's a removable tape and it's 695 I just stamp it and fuzzy cut out you can use post it or even if the inka inka do masking paper uh, so I'll repeat this process again and again until I uh, go to the bottom So now you can see it's a really nice kind of effect here uh, and little bit subtle also. So now I'll just add a little bit more on this. Uh, so I want to add a little um, branch here and for that I use the same uh, die, three dies from SS, uh, SSS that is Sinus Stamp, these dies. But these are quite straight and I don't want the straight effect. I want a little bit more natural effect and for that you can use this die. This is really nice but somehow I lost this die so I'm just doing a little bit trimming here which you can also do. So these are the straight lines. Just fuzzy cut out these by using your scissors and again just uh, tilt your paper just like that. Uh, don't uh, you know um, get much concerned about how it will look or something like that. Just do that and you will uh, definitely get a nice effect with that and it kind of create it will create a little bit of a natural look to this branch. You can draw this also and if you want to draw this make sure to um, use the same technique uh, for the masking just we did for the square. Now after this I would love to add this branch little bit uh, of set like that and for that here I will uh, use a liquid glue. Uh, glossy accent will be the great idea to use because uh, otherwise uh, it will give if it shown outside the Tombo Mono give a white kind of uh, look so as the glossy accent dries colorlessly so you can add this and now uh, I'll just add this something like this uh, now I again I'll do some work before I start this video I have this hard um, shapes from again SSS um, Sam system but you can use any hard punches or shapes if you want to or you can use the leaf uh, shapes also basically I'm using this because uh, I want to make the hard shape leaves uh, leaves here and uh, these die cut out uh, the two two shapes out of uh, the card means the inside and the borders also so i went ahead and make some die cutting with different long form paper which came in a kit and now i'm planning to add these uh, by mix and matching them and now you can see that these are creating really nice effects so what i did i just cut out the one circle by this paper that came in a kit this one and then again the another paper so now uh, i will just add this and then again i put a little bit of a glossy accent inside it and then i'm kind of try to fit the with the matching dies so it's like a puzzle but uh, in this way uh, you can add the leaves to this and I will add a little bit more glossy accent where I want to add these leaves so it will give a different kind of uh, leaves here so so if you don't want to add the heart shape you can go with the traditional way and you can add the normal leaf also by using any leaf you have but I really uh, like this idea so I just want to give it a try and it looks really, really nice it's working well so now I'm not much concerned about it that it will go outside or not I have a big panel for that and I will not uh, so after this I'll add a little bit here and there now you can see it's really looking like a tree tree trunk having little leaves of heart shape and I'm using here my quick quick tool to pick up those leaves and I'll add more of these so in this way this uh, main the small main panel is completed now I want to add uh, this panel to my main panel I'll just press a little bit here and there so as we already started and make this uh, again if you're not sure then don't add anything before you so I'm seeing here how my layout is looking and if I will be happy with that then only I'm gonna uh, stick the frame here so I'm kind of saying that how I want it should go and I cut out these some small flags by using same paper which came in the kit and I also cut out these rings by using 
So I want something like this. And then I realized that uh, maybe I changed the little bit placement here. Um, okay, now I'm quite happy with the placement. So it's time to add these circles. You can use any liquid glue here. And I'm kind of a little bit messy and I'll cut out the extra right now so it will give me another uh, scrap to use those orange paper triangles and sorry the circle here and then you now I want to use this but I, I want this is a little bit so I'll first of all please I want this something like that and uh, I want to Make sure that I will just add a little bit of little bit of glue, so it will only stick here. And after that, I'll add a little bit of glue on back side also. And then I will add a foam, one foam here. And I have this in my. This is just the let leftovers of the different projects, so I will use that to cover the area. And that will give a little bit. That will give me a little bit of a. Uh, dimension to the panel and it will act also as a focal point here and this little bit outside so I'll cut just like that and if it's picking through you can use again your scissors now you can see this is already looking taking shape so now I'll put this on the card front where I want to and then I have this again a little border here so I'm planning to use to make something like this the shape so I'll add again a little bit of glue here and I just want to make sure that it should not look very monotonous or symmetrical but at the same time it will give me a balance of colors and uh, so now here I can add my sentiment and now you can see that I already Mm, have two side flags here and I don't want that I just want this flag on one side so I'll just trim it out the excess and I will put a little bit of glossy accents on back of it then again I'll place this on the shape of uh, again another flag I created and now I want to stamp the sentiment on here so for stamping the sentiment I will use uh, I'm planning to use actually the this uh, nutty overview sentiment and for that I'll just use the block, the acrylic block and I'm placing it just like that and whenever your stamp is not uh, laying, lying straight just place it on the floor or whatever you have and then just stamp it so now you can see I just want to make sure that it is straight so I'm stamping on the rough paper and when I'm happy okay it's going to okay then I'm using this uh, brown color distress ink to stamp the sentiment and now you can see that uh, there is a little bit of uh, more gap here so I'm stamping the sentiment continuously and after some while it, it will go out of the banner so it, it is giving the illusion of continue it is the continuity or something like that now here again i want to add a little bit of a, a foam so i will use just i have a strip of foam for my left off on my project and i will use this to give a little bit dimension here i'll just cut out the excess so now it's time to add all these things to the main card so before adding this foam, I just put this whole panel to the card base and then I will add this sentiment to the bottom of the card and then I want to make inside also beautiful so I am using this paper from my stash because it is, it is not provided that much paper so you have to use your stash also and then Again, I got uh, some heels from this uh, same paper, so I have this left over with me. So I use that to make an inside of the cards. Now, again, you can add a little bit hearts here and there if you want to. So I'm adding uh, three hearts here from that same and you can see it is just like a puzzle. You have to see which piece is fitted where, and you will ready to assemble them. 
my hands become a little bit sticky but yeah so this is the inside and this is the outside of the card uh, maybe i'll add a little bit of uh, sparkle here and there so you can see the another card mm. I add little bit of fingerzilla here and there and now I am using this white pearl drops to make kind of enamel accent and you can use enamel accent also I have this with me so I am using this you can use Nuvo drops also those are the new products those are available also so uh, I am mm, pretty happy with the outcome and I hope you like this card so for more such a fun cards you can just uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram also. And you can see more fall theme cards in the same series. Until the next crafty project, have a crafty life. Bye bye.